Hi guys, had a comment on one of my recent post bag videos where I'd bought some replacement test leads. Deslo Meslager suggested I should have repaired the old ones, and fair enough, I probably can. This is the broken one. Uh, the new ones were incredibly cheap, but I thought I could have a go at replacing the old ones or repairing the old ones. When I originally looked at them, I thought, well, it's not going to be easy because that metal pin is sealed in the plastic and there's no access to the other end of it. That goes in quite a long way before you can actually solder onto it. But we'll have a go. It's not pulling out, but I am turning it. Oh, it's gone in. I've got something I can push it all the way through with. Probably end up stabbing my finger. Oh, there we go. So that's the pin off the test lead. And that just needs to be soldered on. It's very thin wire. It's very thick rubber sleeving, but the wire inside is incredibly thin. I think I better put my glasses on. Because the next problem will be how do we get it back in there? I wonder if that centre section should have come out. It's not coming out. Because I can see I can re-solder that quite easily. But somehow or other I've got to push it all the way back up in. I'll worry about that in a minute. Soldering iron's on. Hands on. Solder. Clean that off. Tin that. Cooled down fairly quickly. So, how are we going to get that back in there? It's too big.
that's too big. Just push. I've just got the tip of it. Can I grip it? Nope. better. There we are. Repaired. Job done. And yes, that was cheaper than buying a new one. The new pair only cost me, I think it was 99 pence all the way from China. But I've got another, another test lead now. So thanks. There's low Meslaga.